Hey everyone, what's up? It's John Harden from Atlas USA. We are joined by none other than Valerie Arim. Arim, God, I just asked you for it. I totally blew it. It's fine. Uh, but you may know her as Naoto Shirogane. Hi all. She's been uh, she's been Naoto since Ultimax. So Ultimax, Ultimax Q yes. and now Persona 4 Dancing All Night. Dancing All Night! Let's um, dance! <laughs> what, what, what's it like being the Quiet Detective? I, I will say that you know, a lot of fans had no idea there was even a voice changeover. So going oh, from yay. old that's Naoto so to know. new Naoto, you just nailed it. Thank Congrats. you. Well, that's nice. It's I love Naoto because she's sort of quietly strong. And she's her own person. And I love that she's extremely intelligent. And um, I just think it's, it's kind of a fun character to play because she is sort of... She's in the background, but she's really the one figuring it all out, and she's really the one making it happen, finding the way to get out of the situations they're in, finding a way to finish what they've started. Yeah, and she never really gets egotistical about it, which is nice. Like, even though I know better, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, show. I'm gonna lead you yeah. there. I'm not gonna tell you there. So that's, right. That's she kind of nice. lets everyone put their own pieces together, which is fun, even though she knows what's going on. <laughs> Something people may not know is that not only are you a voice actor, but you're also the uh, director and proprietor president here? I'm not the president. Not the he president. is the president, no. I do direct. I've directed several games, many, many great titles. Yeah. Um, love the Persona titles, love uh, the Odin Sphere, love <laughs> the Shin Megami Tenseis, all of these things that, that we've worked on here and have been working, we've been working with Atlas for quite some time. I assume that it's really different being, you know, behind the booth versus, or behind the mixing console versus in front of the mic. It's a nice place to be because I have a lot of compassion for what's happening inside the booth and for what the actors are going through and what they're struggling with because I myself have been on that side of the glass. So it's directing came so naturally to me because I was able to put my experiences in the booth to work behind the desk. Mm. I mean, the nice thing about being on Persona for so long is that all of these actors at this point know their characters extremely well. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we can just let them run with it. And as long as I can give them the context of what's happening in the story, um, they just do an, I mean, I feel like a monkey with the buttons sometimes <laughs> because they do an amazing job and all on their own. So sometimes it's reining them in, sometimes it's getting them to go a little <laughs> larger, but most of the time they know what they're doing and, and they're good at it. Getting Amanda to stop swearing so much. <laughs> wow, it's that's a challenge. <laughs> Sorry, but we love you. F a monkey. I think one of the biggest challenges just in uh, both producing uh, quality audio recording and voice acting in general is people are seldom complimentary of like a really ex exceptional voice performance, but they're so quick to point out a bad voice performance. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, you know, I think the internet has a lot to do with that. I think people can just really leave comments anonymously and not mm. feel like it'll ever come back to them. There's a lot of things being said that you would never say to someone's face. Right. I mean, face it, not everybody can stay through a duration of a game which yeah. may go over a 10 year time period. Yeah. People We're... become unavailable. They're not, you know, they're, they're not around during that time. They're, they've moved on to other things whatever it is that happens. Um, and so I love that, especially the Persona fans have really embraced my new actors that come in and, and are really doing their best to um, give these characters life and, and pay homage to what the original people did, but they're still themselves. They have to make it their own performance. And exactly. the Persona fans have been wonderful about being really accepting about new actors and realizing, hey, yeah, it may not be exactly the same voice, although I think we've gotten pretty darn close yeah. on most of them, um, that these people are trying and they're doing yeah. their best and they're going into it with love for these characters and respect for these characters and we're not you know, taking a 180 degree shift from where things were to begin with. On behalf of all the Atlas fans, thank you for all the hard work that you do because without you know, it's such an amazing facility and amazing actors, we wouldn't have the Persona games that we love so much. Well, so thank, thank you, you much. and thank you guys. Thanks for being fans. We love you guys. You're great. Val, is there anything you want to tell the fans? Where, there, where they can find you on Twitter or anything? Uh, Twitter, I'm at Val2000VO. There you go. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks for having me, John. <laughs> Great to see you. Likewise. Bye, guys. Let's twist again. <laughs> like we did last summer. <laughs>